So I've been using a really awesome secret tool called Magnific, and what it allows you to do is essentially create really upscaled image. So you can take an image from Midjourney or any other AI generation tool, and then you'll be able to upload that image into Magnific, and the quality will be insane. So I want to show you a few examples and then show you exactly how it works. So the first thing is you're going to go into Magnific. So this is the tool, and of course, I'll put the link down below so that you can try it out. But essentially, you upload the image, and you'll see that there's a little slider here. So this is the before right and then if I scroll this over this is the after again this is the before and if I scroll this over this is the after and this really adds a bit of texture this one's my favorite actually because you can see here it looks very like almost like clay like it's very smooth there's not a lot of facial details that you would normally see in someone's face but when you scroll this over you'll see that it adds a bit of detail to not only the main two characters here but also in the background you can see it adds a bit of texture to this person's face for example like it adds some additional shadows here to like really emphasize the beard and also just touches upon on um, the people's hair in here as well but I really like this tool because as you can see, as you scroll, it adds that detail that really is missing from these pictures. Now, this is a great picture, right? But when you add those extra details, it really starts to look realistic. And then same thing here as well. It's very kind of flat and then it adds a bit of texture along sides here. It also works for images like this where it's already kind of HD, but it kind of adds just a bit of vibrance to the image also for like pizza or like a photo or uh, food photography right I mean you could do stuff like this where it just adds a bit of extra um to it that you wouldn't normally see so this is magnific let me show you how it works so the first thing is you'll want to create that image inside of mid journey so you'll see here that I have some images that I was creating and playing around with let's just take one that we had so let's see you can see I already started with some of these but let's just say that I wanted to do one of these right so you have your image you, you create the image inside the mid journey and then you want to upscale let's just say I want to upscale number four I want to take that image into Magnific. So first thing is obviously you want to upscale the image, get it as high as quality as possible inside of Midjourney. You could also do another upscale, so upscale subtle or upscale creative and just kind of go even crazier. But in this case, I'm just going to download the image as is. I'm gonna click on save image as, and then I'm gonna take that image into Magnific. So we'll save that and then we'll go into Magnific here. You'll see here that it is a paid tool. However, they do have a free account that you can start playing around with, you know, seeing if it's the right tool for you. But I highly recommend this tool because it is really, really good. So I'll upload that image. I'm going to just go into my downloads here and just upload that image. You can see here. Now the scale factor, you can do two, four, eight, or 16 X. Now, depending on the starting image size, you may not be able to do all the way up to 16 X, for example. So you'll get a red, just dialogue box down here that says, hey, this is too, you know, too much resolution we can't do that so just depending on what your starting size image is then that is going to dictate how far you can take the scale factor but for just keeping this tutorial short i'm going to do 2x if you do 4 8 or 16 it's going to take longer because it has to do all the processing so i would do 2x and then you can also optimize for the different types of image that you want so standard it's just standard there's nothing really special about that but there's portraits, there's art and illustrations, video game assets, nature and landscapes, film photography, 3D render, science fiction, and horror. Just depending on the image that you're trying to upscale, you might want to select some of these different options. And feel free to play around with them because they all give a bit of different vibe to them. I like playing with, for especially for like photos like this, I like playing with film and photography. And then in here, you can add additional details that you want to kind of be emphasized in your image. So you can add a prompt. You hit the little eye icon here. It will tell you exactly how to use this particular feature. But you can see it says here, you can guide the upscaling process with a descriptive prompt. If the images you're upscaling is AI generated, reusing the original prompt here greatly improve the upscaling quality. So what you can do is you can literally just go back into Discord and just grab that prompt that you used originally. So I'm just gonna copy this and then I'm gonna go back in here and just copy and paste that prompt into here. Of course, you could do other things, but for now, we'll just keep it simple like that. And then of, of course, you can choose what you want your creativity to be. Again, if you hit the eye icon, you'll get some um, additional information about these different features. I typically just like to leave it as is, but feel free to kind of play around with it. And then engine, I like to leave it automatic, but again, feel free to play around with these other things. Now, after that, it will tell you how much this will cost. Depending on the settings that you choose, it will cost a different amount of credits. But I'm going to click on upscale. Now it's going to do its thing. 
So typically it takes about, you know, 60 seconds or so, obviously depending on your skill factor. If you did 16X, for example, it's gonna take like 10 minutes, maybe more because it has to do that level of detail. But for this, it's 2X, it should be rather quick. So I'll let it upscale and we'll be right back. All right, we're back. So this is the before. So this is the before and this is the after. You can see it actually adds a bit of realism in that face, right? Like if you look at the face here on the right or left hand side, this is the before here. The wrinkles look okay, but it really is emphasized here as, as well as the details in the hair. Now, what you can do is you can um, hit Z and then scroll in so you can actually see even more details of the image. So Z and scroll in, you'll be able to kind of just see more of those details here. And now you can really see the difference here in the eyes, the eye shape, the eyelids, the eyebrows. Even the teeth have been improved as well because the teeth here kind of look weird and fake, but Magnific makes those teeth look really, really nice. And this is why I love this tool because you can really add those subtle details that make an image look real. Even the tweed and the jacket looks, you know, better, right? The, the texture of that jacket looks really, really nice. So that is really Magnific. It's a really awesome tool that you can use to upscale your images no matter what type of image it is, you can get extra details as well as higher quality. Now, once that image is done and you like it, all you have to do is click on download to download the image. You can also remix the image if you want another variation of that image, just like you can do in Midjourney and other AI tools, but you can remix it as well. But that's Magnific. Try out this tool. I'll put the link down below and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.